guys, don't tell Bungie police, but this build should be illegal. What is up everyone, Tavius Place here, back with another video, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm bringing you a very broken but very good Void Titan build, paired with some beloved exotic arms and one of the most unique exotic trace rifles from Season of Arrivals. First, we'll go over the subclass perks, second we'll check on the armor and the armor mods, and we'll check on my stats and weapons. Before we dive into it, remember if you get any value at all out of this video, please, onega ishimasu, seal to play, por favor, if you can, show me a little love by liking this video and subscribing so I can bring you guys more great content. Now that's out of the way, let's jump straight into it. For our very broken titan build, we're starting with the sentinel titan subclass and the code of the aggressor. Let's go over its perks. Our melee ability is called Shield Bash. After sprinting for a short time, use this melee ability to unleash a devastating Shield Bash that disorients and suppresses the target. We also have Superior Arsenal. Grenade kills recharge grenade energy. Not bad. In the trenches, kills while surrounded by enemies reduce the cooldown of your super. This one is very important for the build we're creating here. We will constantly be in the trenches surrounded by enemies, so this perk right here will help us get our super back insanely fast. And lastly, second shield. Gain an additional shield throw charge while sentinel shield is active. Our exotic arms and second shield together break this super. But this build is not only about your super. Give me a couple more minutes and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And for my grenade, I like to use the Void Wall Grenade, but it doesn't really matter, you may use whichever you prefer. Let's jump over to our armor. The exotic armor piece we're using is everyone's favorite, the Doom Fangs. This exotic armor piece has been in the game since Vanilla Destiny 2, but if you're new to the game or new to Titan, it can drop randomly anywhere or acquire from Zerg's Faded Engram, or even, if you're lucky, you'll find it in the weekly inventory. The exotic armor perk is Horns of Doom. Void melee kills give super energy. While Sentinel Shield is active, melee kills recharge shield throw, which extends your super on hits. So not only do we have two shield throws, but getting kills with it recharge your shield throw and extend your super. Now let's go over the mods I've equipped. For my helmet, I have Intellect, Ashes to Assets for super energy by grenade kills, and Trace Rifle Ammo Finder. On my Doom Fangs, I have Intellect, an Anti-Barrier for Auto Rifles, and Taking Charge to become charged with light by picking up Orbs of Power. For my chest piece, Intellect again, then Trace Rifle Reserves, and Global Reach. Warmind cells you create affect and damage targets at a greater distance. On my legs, I have Intellect and High Energy Fire. While charged with light, you gain a bonus to weapon damage. Each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge with light. And for my class item, I have Intellect, Energy Accelerant from the Seasonal Artifact, which doubles the damage of the transmutation spheres we create with our Trace Rifle. Even though Energy Accelerant buffs Dragonfly, Chain Reaction, and Firefly according to the description, it also buffs the heavy attack with our transmutation spheres. Not sure if this is intended or if the sphere heavy attack is considered a dragonfly explosion. Point is, it works and it was boosting my damage from 59,191 to 118,382. You need to try this. Also on my class item, I have Warmind's Decree from the Seasonal Artifact. Void splash damage final blows have a chance to create Warmind cells. I honestly feel like Warmind Cells and Charged with Light are the cherry on top for this build. If you don't have the Charged with Light or Warmind Cells mods, don't worry, this build is still amazing. Just make sure to equip Energy Accelerant from the Seasonal Artifact and you're good. Okay, now for my stats and weapons. The current armor I have equipped doesn't have the best stats since it's my Solstice of Heroes armor, so I just went with it and spec for Intellect for Super Energy. At tier 7, my cooldown is 4 minutes 7 seconds, but with how broken this build is, we'll be getting our super in around 15 seconds. Weapons. On my kinetic slot, I have my new favorite from Season of the Splicer, the Chroma Rush, with subsistence and rampage. This thing is awesome for ad clearing. 
Now let's talk about the Arunius Effigy Trace Rifle, released during Season of Arrivals. If you didn't play during that time, you'd have to get it from the kiosk at the tower next to your vault. The intrinsic trait is Transmutation. Final blows with this weapon collapse victims into void transmutation spheres. And the main weapon perk is Evolution. Transmutation spheres can be picked up and wielded as weapons by you or your allies. You can light attack, heavy attack, or guard slash drain enemies. For my heavy weapon, well, if you've watched any of my other videos, you already know. The Code Dueller Rocket Launcher with Chain Reaction. Thing's a beast, that is all. Okay, now back to our Trace Rifle. To put it as simple as possible, you're going to be using the effigy almost 100% of the time. You will become charged with life by picking up Orbs of Power, which will give you a boost to your weapon damage. You will defeat an enemy with effigy and create a transmutation sphere. You pick up the sphere and proceed to where all the enemies are at so you can proc in the trenches. Kills while surrounded reduce your super cooldown. At this point you can decide to light attack each individual enemy or slam the sphere with the heavy attack to defeat all of them. Remember you will only proc in the trenches when surrounded by multiple enemies so after defeating one or two this buff will go away and you will stop getting the extra super energy. What I like to do is kill all small ass with light attacks and when the sphere timer is about to run out I run to the boss and slam the sphere on him. The energy accelerant mod will double the damage of the sphere slam to almost 120,000 from 59,000. Also by the time you slam your super will most likely be refilled and ready to go. If you're in a tough situation with a boss or higher level enemies, you can use the guard slash drain sphere ability. It will protect you from stomp mechanics plus any incoming damage. Now after you slam the sphere, there's a possibility that you'll get a Warmind Cell because of the Warmind's Decree mod. Since we also have the Global Reach mod equipped, the explosions from Warmind Cells reach enemies at a greater distance, so if you see one, don't ignore it. And there it is guys, the secret is out. Let's hope Bungie doesn't see this. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate all of you and all the support you've shown me with my new channel. If you want to get in touch with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Tavius Place. And if you have any suggestions or if I messed up somewhere, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video. Again, thank you so very much. And if you'd like to watch other cool builds I made, you can click right here.